Hey everybody, it's Heather Bob, and my computer is slowly but surely falling towards me. I'm testing out new Mac feature that I have, where it looks like this whole little movie thing, and it looks really cool, and I like it a lot. Um, I'm titling this video Reminiscing, because do you remember the times where you were in high school, or even if you're in high school now, and you were in middle school, or, or something along that line, and if you went to jail, and you remember jail, and you enjoyed it, or something like that, and... You just couldn't wait to get out. It's like, oh man, I hate this teacher. I, I, I don't like this person. I hate this school. I don't like doing homework and blah, blah, blah. Well, I was thinking about that. And then I'm like, wow, you know what? I really miss school. I went to this great school. And it's like an hour away from my house. But I still went there for high school because it was the closest thing, you know, other than Van Buren, which is like right up the block from my house. But I went there for two weeks and it didn't work out that well. But, so, I was just thinking, you know, wow, I had so much fun in that school. The school's name was Arts and Business. Now, that's out in Corona. Um, and it was just so much fun. And I remember it all. <laughs> and I was just thinking about it. I was like, damn, I was so happy. Even though I was working a full-time job over at Hot Topic, like I know in a couple of videos you guys noticed my big poster, which is right here, and that's my little Hot Topic poster, when I finally resigned my position and I said, you know what, I've been working here for almost two years, I might as well, you know, I'm doing mechanics now, so I left. So I was working that full-time, and then I was going to school full-time, and I was in Civil Air Patrol and the Girl Scouts. So, it was really, like, strenuous and stressful. There were times where I didn't get home, and I slept for three hours if I did get home. But, you know, it was so much fun, and it was so worth it. And I just remember, like, so clearly, I really miss that school. And I thought I would never say that. You know, I miss when my English teacher sent me to detention because I didn't have my homework one time. I'm, oh man, I remember like always hanging out by this one abandoned laundromat and we used to just chill there like whatever. We would just hang out there and have a great time. I remember one time this guy, he, he put a banana in a condom and we threw it in the middle of the street and we started screaming, no, my detachable penis and other shit as cars were like running over it. And it was just the funniest shit we've ever done. And then of course... I remember, oh man, the band, oh, the band and the chorus, they were really bad. You had those few people, like, that were actually good at what they did, but all together, it just didn't come along, and they would always put the worst people on the loudest instruments or right in front of the microphone, so it was like, damn, we suck, but we do know there were, like, two or three people that were actually really good, um, but, let me see, I remember this one girl, her name was Lucy. She's a great chick, like, seriously, she's one of my close friends. And I remember one time she performed an Evanes uh, Evanescence song, yeah, as I mispronounce that, Evanescence song, My Immortal, I think it was. She brought the entire crowd to tears. And then, of course, you had Skyroot. They were our unofficial band of the school, you know, three guys, uh, after a while there was one more, uh... Abraham, Freddie, and Chris, and they were really good. They they were so good, but once you get out of high school, it seems like um, just everyone falls apart. All the cliques that you used to have just sort of diminish, and the ones that stay together are like, oh, when are we going to hang out? I don't know. Next week. Okay, no problem. What time next week? Saturday? No, Saturday's not good for me. What about Sunday? No, it's Sunday. And it's like, it just goes on and on and on because you get older and you just lose touch with everybody. And then I remember in the lunchroom, the spork battles, I still reign supreme over the spork. Sporks are our friends. And yeah, uh, Chris would run around all the time, I'll cut you. And he'd cut us. We were the central for uh, security guards. So we had like a million security guards in that place and I remember a couple of times where one person would bring a BB gun to school as a joke or to show it off or whatever and then 
60 security guards would jump him. Just like, hey, that kid has a gun. It's not a gun, it's a BB gun. And then he starts screaming like a little girl, and everyone's like, what's going on? Um, I remember the time that my teacher sent me to the dean because I didn't have my homework. And it was really funny because no one else had their homework, and they all stayed in class. And yet I was a top student in that class. And then I remember always, like, poetry and uh, everything in that place. It was so great of a building. And now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working a full-time job. I'm going to go to school again. And I just know I will never meet the friends that I've met in that place. And I guess this is a big shout-out to all the people I used to hang out with in arts and business. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for everyone that still puts up with me. Uh, yes, I'm still the goth chick, you know, uh, and I'm doing good. If you guys watch this and you don't have my Facebook, I'll put a link over here or over here, whichever way it comes up. And I really hope that it lets me post this video because I'm doing it through my photo booth and I'm not really sure how to convert the files, but I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens. And I'm noticing that, um... I'm talking and then it's coming in after. I don't know if it's just like the whole thing. That is trippy. <laughs> it's a delay. So, um, yeah. I don't know if it's going to end up being like that where you hear my voice like five seconds before you see my lips move. But, yeah. All the people at Arts and Business, all the people that are still going, it's a great school. Uh, the teachers sometimes are hard to put up with, but I promise all the ones retired <laughs> that were really, really strict. And yet even the ones that were really, really strict, like I had this one English teacher, I'm not going to say his name. Uh, he was great. He really, like, he made me go to so many places that I would have never went to. And it's so funny, though, because I'm so into art. And yet one of the assignments was go to the Guggenheim Museum. They're having a great thing there. And... I said, fuck it, let's go, and grabbed one of my friends, we went down there, and we had an amazing time, we were joking around, and at one point, I remember we were looking at this little statue, and it's like, oh dude, look, 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 it's a naked chick, ha ha ha, I guess this was the Karma Sutra for Egyptians, and blah blah blah, and then he just was standing behind us, and he goes, I'm happy that you guys are happy that you came to this exhibit, and we froze. <laughs> But yeah, so, hello everybody, and I miss it, I really do, and if you all want to hang out, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on MySpace, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.